Hi everyone, Sherwood Small Pets here. So I'm here with Little John. Uh, and actually, this video was kind of uh, inspired by uh, Instagram uh, and Facebook, where I've been getting messages actually quite regularly um, about what type of guinea pig I have or what type of guinea pigs uh, my viewers have. And I get lots of people, they send me pictures and like, what kind of guinea pig do I have? And I'm like, oh, uh, well, based on this and you know, this is what it looks like. And you gotta remember that if you don't get your guinea pig from like a pedigreed uh, place, which most of us don't, um, there's usually some type of mixing going on, mixology, and that doesn't matter at all. Cause I mean, really, well, <laughs> guinea pig's a guinea pig, right? Um, like little John, we, he looks like just a smooth coat. However, the only reason I know this is cause I've seen both of his parents is that his uh, dad is a skinny pig. So he's a, uh, he's just, He's, you know, just done a smooth coat, but he's a skinny carrier. And again, not like that matters because I'd never breed my pigs. But so it made me kind of, you know, decide that, eh, why not? I might as well um, talk about what type of pigs I have and uh, ways you can identify them. I'm not going to get into like breed standards and all that stuff because that doesn't, doesn't have any bearing on pet pigs or anything like that, so I didn't really see the point. So without further ado, let's get started with LJ. So Little John is a two-year-old um, American. Um, he's a smooth coat. He is what a guinea pig, the what like a person that doesn't have guinea pigs thinks guinea pigs look like, right down to his color. He's an, uh, basically, he's a variation of a, kind of like a lemon agouti. Um, so very, he is the very basic looking pig, which I absolutely love. I happen to love this color. Agoutis are just stunning to me. Um, and his patching is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so he's what's called a smooth coat. So if you have a guinea pig that looks like this, that is, that is what it is. <laughs> yes, hello. You want to go back. You miss Robin Hood, don't you? Okay, well, joke's on you. I got to go get Robin Hood, so... Okay, so next up we have Robin Hood, and uh, Robin Hood was my, our first pig. Um, he was our first guy. He's our oldest pig as well, and yeah, he's just, he's a wonder, he's a pure joy as a pig, and uh, he, he is an Abyssinian. Abbeys are just funky, they are the funky haired pigs that you see, um, you see them in pet stores, they're very common, um, but what separates them is they have, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see them, but rosettes. Um, all over their body. Um, for pets, they can have them wherever they are, wherever you basically, wherever they are. There's no, sp there's no specific spacing. There's no places for them. Usually they have, hold up, babe. I'm just gonna turn you around. The two on the back are very common. Um, you get those in boucles, in Peruvians, and uh, lunkies as well. So that, I just wanna show you a side profile. So the funky haired rock stars, uh, with Abitude, yes, they are known for their personalities. Um, they are Abyssinians, okay? That's the one that I get the most questions about, but this is an Abby. And just for comparison's sake, I, got, I grabbed uh, Pleakley, who is also an Abyssinian. Um, she has far fewer rosettes. As you can see, she's got the tufts around her chin here, she's got ones on her back, and then she's got the two on her rump that I was talking about. But she has far fewer rosettes than Robin Hood, but just, she's still just as much of an Abby. Okay, so now we're getting into the weird ones. These are not pigs you're gonna really see in pet stores. Um, they do come into rescues every now and again, um, but yeah, they are they are not. When people when I show people pictures of these guys, people are like, what what is that? Is it a mop? And I'm like, yes, essentially. Um, so this is Ohana, and those of you that watch my videos, you know he was born here as a really weird. Oops, something happened. Phoenix was pregnant when we got her. And, um, but I wanted to show you him instead of just grabbing Gwen or Phoenix because he's the only one that I have with long hair. I keep the girls all super short. And if I don't, Gwen does it for me. Um, but this is as close to an in coat Texel as I am ever going to have. So he has, as you can see, these really nice long, uh, tight ringlets. Um, they grow, he grows, their hair grows straight back because he is a curly version of what's called 
a silky or a shelty, depending on where you are. And so that he is just the curly haired version of that. So the hair goes straight rather than forward the way a Peruvian, a Peruvian does. Right, baby? Okay, so I have all three um, of these girls out together because I wanted to show you, um, Mr. Sherwood is just making sure nobody takes a dive bomb off the table, um, the differences between the three typical coat ver uh, curly varieties that we have in North America. So, uh, in the middle here is Gwen, and she is the same as Ohana, so she's a Texel. As, you, as I said, it's a curly version of a, come on man, of a silky. So her hair grows straight back, it's just, she's curly. But they're all in what's called community coat, because I keep them short, because like it doesn't, I don't see the point of keeping it long. And like I said, if I don't, Gwen does. Over here, we have one of the more lesser known ones, I guess. They're not as common here yet. Um, not yet, but just they're not... In the show community, they're super popular, but eh, not so much in pets. She, This is Bambi, as you guys know, and she is a Merino. So she is a curly version of a Coronet. Um, basically, it looks like a Sheltie in the sense the hair grows straight back. However, she has this nest, this crown on the top of her head. Um, some of you may have a short-haired pig at home that has a crest on top. That's a crested. Coronet is the long-haired version of that. And she is the curly version of the long-haired version, if that makes any sense. Um, it's what gives her the permanent, like, old man face, it's the crest. And then over here, we have Lilo, and she is a boucle, um, or an alpaca, if you're over in the UK. Um, and the difference between Gwen... <laughs> Gwen and uh, Lilo, you can't really tell as much now, but when she has longer hair, her hair grows straight over her face, just like a Peruvian. Um, she is the curly version of a Peruvian guinea pig. Um, she has, let me see, actually she has a really defined rosette, so it'll be easy to show you. She has, oh, where is it? There it is. So she has this face here, and that is like I showed you on Robin Hood, um, that's the swirl. That's what she has, and it defines, like, she's got more than she needs, because she has the two on the back. And that's what makes their them different than a Sheltie, and makes their hair grow in different directions. And my showing friends, I know this does not sound at all legit, it's just basically to help folks uh, the, learn the layman's differences. Um, it's, these differences I had no idea about when I got into curly pigs, I literally thought there was texels, and that's it. So, I hope this is, that clears up the typical curly pigs that, and there she goes, um, the curly pigs that you can get here in North America and in the UK. Um, so next we have just the weirdos left. Okay. Okay, so the last of my pigs, um, I'm going to use Gary as a more in coat example um, because right now she has been mercilessly chewed by Gwen and Lilo, um, which has broken my heart. But this is a Stitch or Bliss, and she is a Lancaria. Lunkaria, Lunkira, or Lunky. Nobody's 100% sure over here how to pronounce their names, but our friend Pierce from City Pigs imported them from uh, the UK and Italy just about a year ago, and uh, she is actually the first, uh, she's from the first pure litter of uh, Lunkies ever born here. So what makes a uh, Lunky difference, or different, is the fact you actually kind of almost have to feel her before you can tell. They have a really great personality, but um, their hair is like almost like a, it varies in texture because Gary's isn't this uh, coarse or dense, uh, but it's supposed to be really dense like hers. Uh, wiry, almost like a terrier, um, and it, it curls and it grows like, upward. Um, like she's got chops on the side of her face and I'll show you with Gary, it's a lot easier to see. Um, and then she also, like a Peruvian, because they're not a cross, they're a mutation. That's the difference. So she's got the two uh, rosettes at the back, right there. And this is actually really the only access I get to her skin. I can, like, her coat is so dense that I can't, I can't really find the skin unless I'm really, really working hard. Um, okay, so my camera definitely died. Um, and in the meantime, while I was waiting for it to charge, I definitely baked, uh, or I'm currently baking a, uh, round of guinea pig treats, so I forget where I was when I was talking about Stitch. Um, but basically, Lunkies are like a magical breed. Their hair actually doesn't mat in the same way that all the other long-haired, especially curly pigs do. Um, with my, like, all my other curly pigs, 
Um, I'm constantly checking for mats and cutting out mats because as soon as like a little piece of hay gets into their fur, it's, it's immediately a dreadlock. Um, with her, that's never happened. Um, Gary, even with his super long coat, it's never happened. Um, I think, well, it can, it can mat obviously in huge cases of like, we like weird situations, but as a whole, like it's, it's just ridiculous. Also look at this, like a level of chill, just and another really cool thing that I like about lunkies that, um, it's probably kind of a weird thing to like, but it's, uh, let's just go chin up here for a sec, babe. It's their feet. They have really, really fuzzy, um, like almost like griffin. Like they make me think of like the hippogriff in Harry Potter. Um, they're very, very like, they're very like wiry and fuzzy and like big. They've got fairly large feet. I can, I was comparing that cause it, to me, it just looked weird, but, um, yeah, that's probably my favorite lunky feature is their, is their feet. But I'm going to get Gary just so that you can see what a lunky in coat looks like. You have a chip too? No, it's just an optical illusion. Okay, good. Um, what that looks like. Okay. Okay, so here we have Gary and right away, um, let's get the fuzzy. You can see, this is what I mean by the chops. Um, they go, like their hair is supposed to effectively go in an upward, like risen, uh, direction. They do, you can still see the ancestry, the Peruvian, whereas it grows straight forward. And also, let's see, will you let me turn you around, will you? Excuse me. Thank you, sir. You can see when it's, see, he doesn't have the dense, the same density of a coat as Stitch. So you can't, but you can see his rosettes. If you're looking at his bum, you can see the, the two spots here. Um, so that is reminiscent of what of a Peruvian, which is, um, you know, that's where their lines go back to. But like I said, it's not a crossbreed in the same way that um, Boucle and Texels and, and uh, Merinos are. They are genetic mutation. But again, like just to show you, this is what a coat, what their coat looks like but they are really, really awesome. If you're looking for like a low maintenance, long haired pet or like pig, this is your, this is your best bet. Right, Gary? But yeah, so that's, that is effectively, there it is, I'm forgiven now. That is effectively the difference between all the breeds that I have. I and mean, those are just some of the different ways you can tell the guinea pigs apart. And again, it's a very, they're very basic differentiations because there's no need to get really technical. It's just a way that if you've got a different looking pig or you want to find out which type of pig you're interested in, that's a good way to start. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. If you have any questions or comments or queries about any of the different uh, the other breeds, there are a bunch more and um, yeah, they're, they're all really awesome. You can't, you can't go wrong. Guinea pigs are wicked regardless of what coat type you get. Um, but you do get different personality traits with different breeds, um, typically, and um, some are more easy to come by than others. So if you have any questions, you can just leave them in the comments below or do what you have been doing and that's continue messaging me. I am cool either way. Have a good one, everyone. I guess say goodbye, say goodbye to Gary's butt. <laughs>